Okay. So, my father was working at a think tank and my family lived in a sleepy hamlet in Ottawa. See, lived, was working, was, all past tense. Narratives are in past tense. Where everyone was friends or so it seemed I was three years old for a year I stayed home as my older brother and sister trotted off to school every morning with a neighbor girl. I heard, I heard yesterday that the brother also has died in an accident. This brother, Vesbadu's son, died in a road accident three years back. And this sister she is talking about, I, I hear she died of cancer. Sad things to find out, right? We are reading about childhood time and we know they are really dead. Uh, running with the neighbor girl Dara now. She of the oblong fish describes, right? Then let's go down. We were talking about this series she talks about. Look, when I was thinking why she is like that, I, I thought that this serial has played significant role in forming her consciousness, right? So what are this, uh, and she learned language through this serial, first word she learned was, what was the word? Peanut and butter, right? And she talks about Kathy, right? She talks about how they talked uh, using uh, bodily or facial movements, a sign language, right? And I told you, this is a literacy narrative because it tells about how she learned to read and write. By the time we returned to Nepal, two years later, so she was three and two months five, right? Sorry, two, five. My first crush, what was surprising for me, she is just five, she has first crush. I will ask these girls, did you feel like you had a first crush when you were five? No. no? No? Maybe you're shy to say yes, I don't know. Did you feel like that? No? Did you, did you have a crush on someone when you were just five? I was surprised. Did you have this feeling of having a crush on someone when you were just five? No. And I was wondering, I was wondering, you know, how this is possible. But my main memories of that period revolve around, look, my main memories. This writing is a memoir. This writing is... Memoir. This is nostalgia. This is nostalgia. But my main memories of that period revolve around the benign muteness of a foreign child in an open hearted land. Look, muteness of a foreign child. So, when she came to Nepal, she was mute because she didn't know the culture and people. When she went to Canada, she was mute because she didn't know the culture and the people. This is what happens when you move a baby from one country to another. And exactly my situation, because my father was <laughs> kept moving from place to place as a job holder. And I couldn't make any friends, right? Being led around by Dara, drinking coke with Kathy, and when I finally got to school, going up to the teacher... A plump, pretty white lady, she describes the teacher, a plump, pretty white lady dressed in pink. And this is, look, when we say, when we say creative, non-fiction, and I told you earlier, creative means imagination. And look here, this is, uh, this is, this is creative, a plump, pretty white lady, her description, right? Dressed in pink and nudging the back of her chubby, shiny pantyhose and case thighs. And I was reading this line. Then I just googled image because I wanted to see what are the, how do the pantyhose thighs look. And I just googled and Google blows the whole picture. Says, no, you're not allowed to see it because this is not suitable. Your age, verify your age. Then I began to ask. How can Manjushri describe something that Google is not willing to show me? Then I said, 
this is good because this is honesty in writing you become a good writer when you speak your voice of the heart right when you see look how honestly she uh, described to sabhi shiny pantyos and kes thighs in that culture it's a natural way normal way of living around till she turned and saw me looking up lost and found i remember the powdery scent of her perfume this is this is all factory image images are visual you see with the eye uh, auditory you see you hear a sound uh, gustatory uh, uh, you test you test all factory smell kinetic movement there are five types of images if something is moving in a description that's kinetic image a flying rocket uh, i see this girl that's visual image you can hear me that's auditory image you smell somebody's perfume that's olfactory you taste that's gustatory right here you have an image that appeals sense of smell looking up lost and uh, yes she knelt down to communicate with me I, i was wondering why 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 would the teacher kneel down maybe she was too small right she was a child sitting on the desk and she had, the teacher kneel down and talk to her she came too close to the teachers come too close to talk to child right i don't know i don't know why she had to kneel down this is how we read this is how we read focusing on each word right reading is not running through the page reading is going slowly line by line next section everywhere you see this asterisk signs scene changes our narrative has scenes so we are we are, we are in scene 3 now scene 3 it was please keep counting the scenes it was the early 1980 so in scene 2 in scene 2 in scene 2 she talked about 1970s time where canada whom she described kathy dara brother sister father teacher 